Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today I have my Allure beauty bag as well as my Macy's beauty bag to talk to you about. Um, we're going to start with Allure just because I got it sooner um, and I have a little rant to go on about with the Macy's. So be prepared for that. So I did get my bag. It is black, which I thought they were all going to be orange, but that's okay. Um, it's it's broken like everybody's was last month. It's split on both sides. I don't like these bags. I don't think they are practical to say the least because they're very um, cheaply made, cheap material because they break down so quickly and the snaps like I would not use these with regularly because it seems they're not they're not very sturdy. So I feel like I would rip them out if I use this pack this bag for anything on a regular basis. So this just goes in the trash because this is not recyclable at all. Um, this is kind of really irritating me just kind of like Sephora's was too. These are environmentally friendly and we're talking about trying to be more environmentally friendly and then we get this. So I'm like, I'm a little annoyed. You get this little booklet like always and then let's just pull out the first thing in here. It is from Model Co. It is a metallic eyeshadow trio and I have some things from Model Co. They're pretty good. I do enjoy them for the most part. That is what it looks like. So there are three shades in there. Let's swatch them. They are all metallic. Ooh, That actually would make a pretty nice eye look. I am not afraid to do an all shimmer eye look. I prefer shimmers to mattes to be honest. So that's an interesting first item. Next, in, oh, that's a coupon that I stuck in the bag. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you how much that was. Let me find it really fast. That retails for $15. And then next up is from Wander Beauty. This is a Mile High Club Mascara. And this retails for $26. This is a full size. I'm not going to open it because I do have several mascaras that I am working on and I don't want to open one early because that just makes it dry out and go bad. So that's what the wand looks like with it. Next up is from Mamond. It is a Petal Spa Oil to Foam, so I'm assuming it's a cleanser. Um, oil cleansing foam. This retails for $21 for the full size. This is obviously not a full size. I wonder what it smells like. This is something I will use pretty quickly. And it smells like roses. It smells very nice. And I'm pretty sure Maman is part, oh, it says right here, Amore Pacific, which is a really expensive Korean skincare brand. So that's pretty nice. The next thing in here is from Tanya Crooks, the Brow Gal. We've gotten some several of these in different subscription boxes. This um, retails for $22. It is a brow gel, um, so I'm not going to, to use that. That will be passed along. Then we have from Laritzy Cosmetics. It's a lip pencil in the shade Bare. And, ooh, that's seems quite bright for bare. Oh, but it doesn't look anything like it on the other side. Um, it's not the creamiest. It's, I feel like this is going to be kind of painful to put on the lips, but that is what it looks like. Um, I need to really start using my lip pencils because that's something that I never use. Um, that says it retails for $18. I would not pay $18 for that. Then we have another thing from Mamond. It is the Flower Lab Essence Mask in Rose, um, which sounds awesome. I love the scent of roses. And this retails for $7. That looks so nice. Um, I don't really need any more sheet masks, but you know. Oh, and then there's one more thing in here, which is a brush, which is from Moda. Oh, I like Moda brushes. I've gotten some of them. In the past, they've been really good. Let's see if I can get this one open. Um, oh, this one feels, I don't know. I don't like this one as well. This feels more slick. It doesn't feel quite as nice. 
Um, this is the Triad Eye. And that's what it looks like. And that retails for $4.99. So I think we got, did we get six items this month? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got more than five, six, and seven. So we got quite a bit. I think this is a pretty good month. Um, I really do like Allure. I kind of upset about their change because the boxes at least you could recycle or reuse. I don't feel like you can do that with the bags. But the mascara that's a full size, that is nice. This sheet mask looks really nice. Um, even though I have so many sheet masks, I'm still excited to try it. This eyeshadow is actually really pretty and I think it's colors that it actually wear, which is nice. And um, that's always a plus. Oil to foam cleanser, I will always use that. I will always take a brush. Love getting brushes. This, this is kind of the dud along with the brow gel because I just I don't do brows so that was Allure these are both $15 a month these boxes so um Macy's you have to order before the 15th of the previous month to get it so I ordered I mean I've I ordered in September so I think October was my first box so I've had it for over a year now um and this is the first time I've had a problem so um, this is this month's bag. It took a long time for me to get it. it took much longer than usual because um, as you guys probably know, in December I usually go and visit family for the holidays. So I have all of my boxes. I have them shipped to my parents' house so that I make sure I get them and they're not sitting in a post office for a month while I'm gone. Um, so I had them all shipped there and then I change as soon as they ship. Um, the day they ship, I always go in and I change everything back. Because Ipsy, I have changed after the first of the month, but before it shipped and they shipped it to the new address. And I was like, really? Even though your instructions say differently? So December, first part of December, I changed my address for Macy's. Then they send my January box to my parents' house, which was not terrible. I ended up still being there when it got got there because they ship it so early in the month. Um, so that was fine. Went in and changed it immediately again so that it wouldn't happen again. Well, they shipped my February box to my parents' house and I was really confused because it said that it was going to be delivered the next day but it was halfway across the country and I was like, what? And then I went in and looked and I was like, they didn't change it again. I was so mad and I called customer service and said, listen, what's up with this? I've changed it and you've shipped two more bags after I've changed it. I've had to change it three times. And they're like, oh, well, we don't know. We can't access your account, so just keep trying. And then they're like, what do you see? And it was pointless. I spent like 20 minutes to no end and they were not helpful whatsoever. Um, and I don't care, like if you can't do anything, just tell me that so that I don't waste my time sitting on the phone um, trying to find out what's going on. So anyway, um, my dad waited until this came and then he shipped my Alta order that you'll see in my next haul video um, that got lost. It finally got replaced and all of that. So you'll hear the story about that. He shipped them all together so that it would save a little bit of money. $17, I think, to ship my Alta order and my Macy's order to me, which was I was very grateful for. Um, but when he opened the box, this did not have the flyer, so I have no idea how much any of this is worth, and I don't have the coupon. The reason I subscribe to Macy's, I mean, it's I do enjoy it, but you get a $5 or a $10 coupon every month, and you can use it twice. If you um, redeem the code online, there's a code on the front that you can redeem once online, and then there's a barcode on the back that's separate, so you can go in store, which is what I do sometimes. I don't always do that, but when there's $10, I do, usually. Um, but I didn't get the coupon or the flyer, and I called them, and I was like, what's up with this? And they're like, oh, and I was practically crying by the time I got done with this phone call. It was so frustrating. And I said, no, I just want you to send me the flyer. And they're like, we can't replace anything. We can't discount your bag because you already got it. And it's already discounted the lowest it will go. And I said, 
I don't want a discount. I want my coupon. And they said, well, we'll give you a 10% off of anything that's not, you know, with all of the exclusions. So I couldn't use it on any beauty products. That's the reason I get this, so that I get that $5 off a beauty product. Like $5 off a $20 lip gloss or a lipstick, that makes it worth it. They would not do anything. I was so frustrated. I posted, um, you probably, like some people I've watched their Macy's unboxings because they do them earlier than me. And I've told people like, this is the worst customer service experience I've ever had. And that was twice in the same month for the same bag. So then I posted on their Facebook page as well, and I said, you know, this is really lousy. And they said, oh, send us a PM and we will, um, you know, help you out. So I sent them a PM with the order number and everything they asked for, and then they responded, oh, we're sorry, we can't do anything about that. You need to call customer service. And I said, why did you have me PM you? And make it, so you just make it look like you're actually helping people and that you care, but they don't. It was an absolutely terrible experience. I'm about ready to ca cancel Macy's. Um, it's too late. They've already charged me. Like today is the 20, well, today's the 23rd um, as I'm filming this, but it won't go up till Thursday. Um, they charged me on the 22nd of February for the March bag already it's already been charged um, and you do have to cancel by the 15th um, I'm about ready to cancel just because of how what a terrible experience I had which makes me really sad because I do like this um, subscription a lot but if there's if there's any more problems I will and those people in the store like we talked to them um, and they can't do anything which is really and they said that customer service is awful but if you read Macy's feedback everybody just complains and says what terrible customer service they're getting and that they just don't care. Um, so it makes me sad because I love Macy's and I think it's, you know, an institution in the U S but I think their days are numbered because they're just doing nothing to really capture and keep support. Anyway, sorry for the long rant and story time. Let's get into this. Like I said, I have no idea what any of these prices are. Um, I did check on everything because I thought maybe they put it in there differently. Nope, they did it. Uh, the first thing in here is a mini, mini um, beauty blender. And this is just one of their little beauty bitty ones. Let's see if it will, doesn't want to look at it. We're gonna have to take it out of the packaging. Just a little green guy. They're supposed to be good for under eyes. I have several of these that I have never used even once. So I should probably start using them or figure out something to do with them. The next thing is something that I won't use because this is not something that I need because um, if you are larger, you don't really use something. You're not going to wear something that's going to, you're going to need these. These are breast petals, disposable one-time use. Um, like I have a bra that gives me good coverage because I need that. Um, so I guess they're fine if you go around without a bra or you wear like a really thin bra or whatever. Um, I just think that's a really weird thing. Like they threw in the underwear a couple months ago and I think it was the November box. And I'm like, just don't like we're here for the beauty don't throw in these weird other things um, next is a perfume I do own this is black opium by YSL it's one of my favorites I really do like it it's very it has coffee bean and um, vanilla in it it's really good then from origins this is the original skin retexturizing mask with rose clay I do have a couple of these this is a really awesome mask. I love it. Um, it does have a pink tinge to it. Um, you're not going to be able to see that, but I really do like this one a lot. I think it's a great mask. So I'm excited to get, this is a full ounce. So that's, that's great. Um, next is from Clinique. This is a high impact mascara. As, this is an okay mascara. It does not stay on my lashes. So I will be passing that one along. Then from Dermablend, this is their Loose Setting Powder. Uh, I can't remember if I like this or not. I think I have others of this. So eventually I will get around to using some of my setting powders. I've been using my Pretty Vulgar one and 
it's it's going to last a long time that one and then I won a giveaway with another one so I'm super excited but I'll probably set it aside and use up some of my other setting powders first and then the final thing in here is from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is American Doll the shade it's a liquid lipstick um I don't know if I'm going to like this one or not I I had mixed feelings about the one that I just wore recently but that's a nice color um, and I think it would have been good for Valentine's Day but it's just like a really true true red um, so yeah uh, let me know what your thoughts are on these two bags if you think they were worth the money or not what you thought of the items in them if you've had bad customer service or great customer service with any of that either of them I've had really great luck with Allure the only time I've had problems they sent me a tire replacement box it was awesome um, so I've had no problems I know other people have but let me know what your thoughts were if you got these what you've been loving or not liking um, I hope you were all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time bye